In today's video, we're going to show you how to use Marcus Mariota in Madden NFL 16. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I uh, like to make Madden videos and like to share uh, with you some of the things that I find about the game. I like to, you know, uh, play and, and just uh, share what I find. So uh, today, we're taking a look here at the Tennessee Titans after Marcus Mariota's big game this week. Uh, and what I want to do is I want to show you. Uh, how to use him. So he's our kind of, this is going to be our team of the week, and we're going to have a full depth chart for him later on in the week, and uh, we'll have a full scheme for him as well. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're using the Philadelphia Eagles uh, offensive playbook here, and uh, this is the offense I've designed for uh, Marcus Mariota. And uh, it all starts with the slot offset formation. Uh, in my opinion, it's one of the mo more uh, balanced formations here. But we're going to be able to use Dexter McCluster and Bishop Sankey, uh, the, the good games that uh, Sh Sankey had this week uh, as well. So I uh, can't wait to get into this. But what we want to do here is uh, we want to switch the running back. So we want to put McCluster on the left side and Sankey on the right. And our base play for this... Uh, offense is the M motion Z spot. This is the play we're going to come out in, and this is the base formation uh, that we're going to use. And, uh, actually, excuse me, the base we're going to use is the motion Y cross. So we saw Marcus Mariota use this play uh, as he threw a nice slant route touchdown uh, earlier on in the, in, the, in the game. And the whole uh, read progression here, first and foremost, we have this nice swing pass to McCluster. We're going to use his you know, good speed and elusiveness and really get him out in the open field, and I really think he's an explosive talent uh, for this. One other note about this formation while we're just talking about it is the, the cool part about this is you have this motion inside zone that you can get the ball to sink, you run him inside, uh, and then obviously you can, um, if you go to your play action, you have a nice little swing pass to a cluster to get the ball out of your hands, get some blockers upfield, and uh, use his elusiveness that way. And so this is going to kind of see a theme run through this offense. But the, the, the main play that we're going to look into right now um, is this is this zone play. So, uh, but anyway, so those are all the all the uh, constraint theory plays that you can use uh, that really are going to get at the heart of um, you know s you know kind of mixing in your plays. And um, you know if you think they're blitzing, a really good play to run is this halfback swing, swing this little PA halfback swing here. Um, so, so there's those plays, um, and then uh, but we're going to focus here today on the MTN. Uh, motion Z spot. Uh, what we want to do here on the back side here, Hunter, uh, what I like to do is if they're in off coverage, I'll leave him on this fade, but if they're in press coverage, so if they're maybe something like this, it's going to signify man, I'll place him on a comeback route. Okay. Now, uh, this is a, a nice little route we can use. What I like about it is that the low pass lead, uh, you're going to be able to uh, throw like a little back shoulder catch animation uh, against main coverage. Now, against zone coverage, which you'll see here, is this low pass lead ain't going to work. It's going to get intercepted. You see since the ball is going to come right in there uh, and get a pick just like he did in Sunday's game. So so there's that. So then, But what we see in zone is when we leave him on the fade, then we can throw a high pass lead and user catch it with Hunter uh, if that's open. You know, And, and that's kind of, the, it's kind of the, the looks that we're looking at there. Uh, but anyway, the next two reads here, and I want to show them primarily against man, but the next two reads, what I'm going to do is I'll take uh, Kendall right here on the outside and I'll trade him on drag route. Love the drag route. But uh, what you'll see is the main guy we're going to be hitting um, is, is, is it's going to be a nice little levels concept. And so it's going to be between right and um, between right and Douglas on this play. Um, and what you'll see here is uh, right will come open most of the times. I like to use a nice little touch pass to get him the football. And um, and then, you know, the other person, of course, is Douglas. And what you'll see him do here is, um, is you'll see him come open late against man in a nice slant pattern uh, for us there. So that is, um, that is a definitely... What we're looking at here, um, and then I want to show you also real quick against zone what we're going to look at. And the main thing against zone is we're going to have a nice levels concept. Most of the time you'll be hitting this drag. I'll just be honest with you. Most of the time that's what you're going to hit because they're going to play it safe and they're going to go for Douglas. But in situations where they come down on him, what you'll see is you may be able to kind of fit this in back here. And that time they didn't come down on him, but. Um, Normally, normally you will hit this drag. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, normally you will hit him. And what you'll see here, though, if they do come down, is it's more of a late read like that. And there you see 
uh, kind of something like that. So that's kind of what we're looking at. Um, and then also uh, the user catches your final read here, and you're, it's just a high pass lead. And don't want to you don't want to lead him anything. It's just don't don't use the pass lead. Um, just use L1. So just hold L1, throw it, and user catch it. And normally, normally you know you're not going to be able to hit that. So, um, but again, you do have this nice inside zone if they give you that. Um, so a lot of things that you have with this is based off what the defense is going to do. But the key uh, to all this is to be able to hit McCluster. I really think this is the key to be able to take this flat pattern and turn it into a 10-yard gain. I mean, this is this is at the heart. Uh, of what the what Mariota is going to be able to do for you um, is throw those nice quick passes uh, and get the ball out of his hands. Um, and then the only other thing I want to show you is two more plays out of this. Um, the first one um, is Eagles cross screen, and then the second one will be the triple option. But the Eagles cross screen, what we're going to do is we're going to be able to use um, our our little running back here as a nice little uh, little screen here off a of play action. And so it's going to look like we're running the ball, but um, we're really going to be flipping a nice little. And, and so we could, you know, and we could, we, we have two swings. We can hit the cluster in the outside. So we got the cluster on the outside, and then look, we'll hit Sankey right here on a nice little touch pass. I like to use lob passes when I'm throwing screens this year. And, um, but anyway, that's just something we can use, uh, especially in situations where they're going to start blitzing you. And, and a nice lob pass, and then I like to use the spin move to get upfield uh, and turn, you know, get those tough yardage, tough yardage against the, the defense. And then the one more play I want to show you, and then we'll be done for today. Um, but this is all things that you can come out in because this is going to be your base formation. And, uh, excuse me, um, but what I want to show you is this triple option, um, motion triple option. And this is, um, you know, what Mariota does. Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. I picked the wrong play. Um, but look here. And it is the MTN triple option. So motion triple option. And we'll just go up against a random play. But what you'll see is um, we got a red defender and a pitch defender. The red defender is for Bishop Sankey, so if the red defender crashes on Sankey, then we're not going to hold X. But if he does, if he stays at home on Mariota, we'll hold X. So here, see, he crashes down. So we're going to keep it with Mariota, and then they they also took the the pitch defender. McCluster um, is your pitch defender, and that's that that guy with the P icon over his head. Um, that's who you're looking at. So here crash down here they stay with Mariota so we're gonna hit L1 to pitch to McCluster and now you see the strength of the triple option uh, as it really has the potential to be a, a big uh, big time play for you and every now and then we'll show it we'll, you know we'll come out in this um, normally you know this is uh, something that's kind of they they do a good job against this year I mean kind of stock but uh, it is something you could definitely hit in uh, and definitely uh, definitely put in you know into your scheme here and it takes advantage of Mariota's mobility um, for a nice rushing attack here, they again, you know, and there they really kind of blanketed it, but um, but anyway, so but with that in combination with this power zone, um, you know, you can really move the ball well, and then obviously you always have what I like to do with this PA halfback swing is roll out with Mariota, so I'm just gonna roll, 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 and then run it upfield. Now, um, one thing you want if you if you're gonna do that, what I would recommend doing. It's taking a cluster, and oh, whoops! Like you can't. Looks like you can't audible, but you know you can. You can kind of scramble with Mariota on this play if they have the screen taken away. And this is kind of a set play that you're going to use. You know, if you get a look for it, looks like maybe you can scramble up the middle of the field. You know, we'll just call that PA halfback swing. If they're playing more coverage defense, it's going to be more of an option. Um, but. Um, Anyway, um, so that's what we're looking at here. Uh, I just wanted to show you some of this, uh, some of the stuff. I know I showed a lot of this with Tebow, and I really think that Mariota's a little bit more of a throwing option than Tebow is, but um, he's definitely someone that I would think is really a a good option for you to take advantage of, and uh, definitely a scheme here. And we're going to show you this week how to really take advantage of his throwing as well as his running skills. But um, but anyway, so this is kind of the the X factor the the main formation we're going to work out of, we have our main, and then we have all of our passing stuff we're going to use. Um, the unfortunate thing about this is that this is going to be 
um, a playbook in which you're going to have to kind of either come out in this or come out in, in other stuff. So, But I think this formation is so valuable and so good on its own that uh, it's definitely worth talking about. Uh, you know, as you see here, I mean, it's just a nice, simple formation. You know, you, you have a lot of constraint theory plays. And uh, so I definitely like this package. But anyways, guys, that's what we got for you. Um, if you would like to have some more advanced tips on, on offense, you guys can check out my offensive e-guide. Um, I got that in the description. You can purchase that. Or if you're wanting more of a personal approach, I have a lab session uh, available for you, so you can check those out as well. I'll give you some more in-depth look at the game, more consistent stuff, uh, more detail-oriented. So if you guys are looking for that, they're pretty cheap, uh, and I think that you guys might like them, so you can check that out. Thanks for watching, guys.